everybody and a very warm welcome to our North Sevenside Weekly online service. I'd like to begin by wishing you all a happy new year. This Sunday marks the beginning of the new Christian year. Advent, like Lent, was traditionally a penitential season, but over the years has become a season of hope and expectation as we prepare to celebrate the birth of Christ at Christmas. Since the earliest days of Christianity, the church has been using a liturgy known as the Great O's. They are referred to as the O antiphons or verses, and each one begins with the word O. Each antiphon is the name of Christ, or one of his attributes mentioned in the scriptures. They are, O Wisdom, O Lord, O Root of Jesse, O Key of David, O Dayspring, O King of the Nations, and O Emmanuel. We begin our service though with Judith, who is going to light the first of our Advent candles. And after this, we have a traditional penitential Advent prose before moving on to the readings, which describe an attribute of Christ interspersed with the verse of O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Come, Lord Jesus. We dare to light a light of hope despite the darkness of our world. In the face of cruelty and suffering, of oppression and inequality, we dare to hope. In a world that sometimes seems hopeless, we dare to hope. With the patriarchs of old, we dare to hope. We light a candle in the darkness. We dare to hope. O come, O come, Emmanuel, Come, Lord Jesus. Pour down new heavens from above, and let the skies pour down righteousness. Turn your fierce anger from us, O Lord and remember not our sins for ever. Your holy cities have become a desert, Zion a wilderness, Jerusalem a desolation, our holy and beautiful house where our forebears praised you. Pour down you heavens from above and let the skies pour down Righteousness. Sinned and become like one who is unclean. We have all withered like a leaf, and our iniquities like the wind have swept us away. You have hidden your face from us and abandoned us to our iniquities. Pour down you heavens from above. And let the skies pour down righteousness. You are my witnesses, says the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know me and believe me. I myself am the Lord, and none but I can deliver. What my hand holds, none can snatch away. Pour down you heavens from above, and let the skies pour down 
righteousness. Comfort my people, comfort them. My salvation shall not be delayed. I have swept your offences away like a cloud. Fear not, for I will save you. I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Redeemer. Pour down you heavens from above, and let the skies pour down righteousness. O wisdom coming forth from the Most High, filling all creation and reigning to the ends of the earth, come and teach us the way of truth. The reading is taken from Ecclesiasticus 24, verses 3 to 9. I came forth from the mouth of the Most High and covered the earth like a mist. I dwelt in the highest heavens, and my throne was a pillar of cloud. Alone I compassed the vault of heaven and traversed the depths of the abyss. Over waves of the sea, over all the earth, and over every people and nation, I have held sway. Among all these I sought a resting place. In whose territory should I abide? Then the Creator of all things gave me a command, and my Creator chose the place for my tent. He said, Make your dwelling in Jacob and in Israel receive your inheritance. Before the ages in the beginning he created me, and for all the ages I shall not cease to be. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord of Lords and Ruler of the House of Israel, you appeared to Moses in the fire of the burning bush and gave him the law on Sinai. Come with your outstretched arm and ransom us. Our second reading this morning is from chapter 3 of the book of Exodus, commencing at verse 1, and tells us the account of Moses in the burning bush. Moses was keeping the flock of his father-in-law, Jethro, the priest of Midian. He led his flock beyond the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire out of a bush. He looked and the bush was blazing, yet it was not consumed. Then Moses said, I must turn aside and look at this great sight and see why the bush is not burned up. 
When the Lord saw that he had turned aside to see, God called him out of the bush. Moses, Moses, and he said, Here I am. And then he said, Come no closer. Remove the sandals from your feet, for the place on which you are standing is holy ground. He said further, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look at God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, come, oh, come, at all my oh, in my glorious majesty, come, Sinai's mountain, clothed in war, gave us thy folk the ancient O root of Jesse, standing as a sign among the nations, kings will keep silence before you for when whom the nations long. Come and save us, and delay no longer. Our next reading is from Isaiah chapter 11 verses 1 to 4, and it's a prophecy relating to Jesus. A shoot shall come out from the stock of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O key of David and scepter of the house of Israel, you open and none can shut, you shut and none can open. Come and free the captives from prison and break down the walls of death. This is a reading from Isaiah chapter 22 verses 21 to 23. And will clothe him with your robe and bind your sash on him. I will commit your authority to his hand, and he shall be a father to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. I will place on his shoulder the key of the house of David. He shall open and no one shall shut. He shall shut and no one shall open. I will fasten him like a peg in a secure place, and he will become a throne of honour to his ancestral house. This is the word of the Lord.
O morning star, splendour of the light, eternal and bright sun of righteousness, come and bring light to those who dwell in darkness and walk in the shadow of death. Numbers chapter 24 verses 15 to 17. The oracle of Balaam, son of Beor, the oracle of the man whose eyes are clear, the oracle of one who hears the words of God and knows the knowledge of the Most High, who sees the vision of the Almighty, who falls down but with his eyes uncovered. I see him, but not now. I behold him, but not near. A star shall come out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel. O oh, come, O oh, come, thou day spring bright, for on our souls thy healing light. Dispel the long night's lingering gloom, and pierce the shadows of the tomb. Rejoice! O King of the Nations, you alone can fulfil their desires, cornerstone, binding all together. Come and save the creature you fashioned from the dust of the earth. A reading from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verses 7 to 11. Alas, that day is so great, there is none like it. It is a time of distress for Jacob, yet he shall be rescued from it. On that day, says the Lord of hosts, I will break the yoke from off his neck, and I will burst his bonds, and strangers shall no more make a servant of him. But they shall serve the Lord their God, and David their king, whom I will raise up for them. But as for you, have no fear, my servant Jacob, says the Lord, and do not be dismayed, O Israel. For I am going to save you from far away and your offspring from the land of their captivity. Jacob shall return and have quiet and ease and no one shall make him afraid. For I am with you, says the Lord, to save you. I will make an end of all the nations among which I scattered you. But of you I will not make an end. Desire of nations, show thy kingly reign on earth below. Thou cornerstone, uniting all, restore the ruin of. O Emmanuel, our King and Lawgiver, hope of the nations and their Saviour, come and save us, O Lord our God. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 to 23. This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law, and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, 
Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfil what the Lord had said through the prophets. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. The Collect for this Advent Sunday. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armour of light, now in this time of this mortal life in which your Son Jesus Christ came to us in great humility, that on the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal. Through him who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Your baby boy will 
Lord our God, on the first day of creation, you made the light that scatters all darkness. Let Christ, the light of lights, hidden from all eternity, shine at last on your people and free us from the darkness of sin. Fill our lives with good works as we go out to meet your Son, so that we may rejoice to welcome him at his coming. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. And now may God the Father, judge or merciful, make us worthy of a place in his kingdom. Amen. May God the Son, coming among us in power, reveal in our midst the promise of his glory. Amen. May God the Holy Spirit make us steadfast in faith, joyful in hope, and constant in love. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.